everyone, it's Vicki IRL in my real life. Welcome in. So today I thought I'd take you guys to Chol Du San, which is also known as Beheading Mountain, in Mapo, Seoul. It's right next to where I used to live, so I used to go there a lot and walk through down to the river. And the historical significance of it being right next to the river, I'll explain to you guys in the very end. So we'll make sure you watch the whole video and find out what exactly happened there. But it's such a beautiful place. I went there in February. You can see the snow. And this is the entrance to the main area of the park. There's a parking lot there, and there's also this gift shop. So right next to number two Green Line, Hoktown Station, there is the Jotusan Martyr Shrine, or Jotusan means beheading mountain, which you can see there. It's nicely explained in English. Um, but it's a really nice place to come visit if you're Catholic. I am a former Catholic, so I keep respecting my father. Um, they have down here this courtyard. I don't want to film because it's kind of private, but they have these sort of stations down here. I'll try and film somewhere if I can, but um, this is the Plaza de Casillo. And it's an open space. people to congregate. And over here, this is the first Korean to be baptized as Catholic. And then here is the chair that Pope John Paul sat in when he paid his visit to Korea. And um, let's see, it says here, I'm not sure what the date is. Interesting. And then you can light a candle if you want here. And that's um, an Asian Mary. Isn't she beautiful? This is the back of the Catholic Church. You can go around the front if you want. Come on, here's the plaza. They have a chapel and a museum. This is the statue for the um, martyrs, and they were declared martyrs by Pope John Paul. So um, their effigies are called all around, all around the back too, and their names are on the back. Um, and this is interesting. This picture of their head is obviously removed from their body, but it's actually a really beautiful place. There's the Jesus Queen of Palm Victory. This is also in the garden here. Mother Teresa's here. Saint Ill. My fellow Polacks. I don't know how I feel about him. It's a love hate relationship, I guess. Or proud and ashamed, maybe is a better way of saying it. But this is for all my Polish relatives. He's here too. This area is towards the back of the park. You can kind of hear all the freeway noise and the river noise below, but it has an area for lit candles and this beautiful little grotto for Mary. And right above her, which you can't really see in the video, but that's where the museum is to the martyrs. And it's at the top of the hill where the martyrs were executed. So it's an interesting little area. You can actually get a guided tour in English if you sign up for one. I didn't want that. I was all alone and I liked it that way. Um, it was great having the whole place to myself. However, be aware that the bathrooms are closed in February. <laughs> Okay, so super basic, quick history lesson I promised you guys at the beginning of the video. So in the late 19th century, their Korea was known as Joseon, and they had a king. The king had a regent because he was too young. In 1866, he banned Catholicism, and he ordered about eight to 10,000 Catholics, which is about half of all of them in the country, killed. 
Some of them were killed here in Jolonsan, but specifically after the French invaded in retaliation for these murders and the Koreans fought them off, he had 177 Catholics executed at the top of the mountain and their bodies were pushed into the water so their blood would purify the Han River from all the foreigners that were coming in. So that's why this hill became known later as Beheading Mountain. But you know, despite all that, it's such a beautiful and peaceful place, especially under the snow, and I had it all to myself. I actually filmed walking through the whole thing. If you'd like to see that, I'll link the lit video for you here. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!